sig søvn. Når til det med at tage bort. De prøver ved de people, der er på at really fear. Det er noget af det. Det er ikke mainstream media. Det er ikke JCF. Det er ikke courts. Det er ikke even privy council. Det er en reason why them keep it. Når man tager bort privy council, privy council. Name one time in history. Privy council has ever investigated, arrested, charged, prosecuted any corrupt official in Jamaica. So, it's not a threat to the establishment. Talking about that. Sunday. But I go drop the video them one Saturday, one Sunday. Now me I drop two of them Sunday. The video of Roderick and the world spread them, mad sauce them. Right. Discussing. How do I go kill this? Huh? I go hear the world spread tell them what them can do. I go hear Roderick and say what they have to do. This is not the Roderick video. This is just the, like, the video of them in the house. And also, debunk the whole. I'm just upset because it's me I say, they should have another trial. That's ridiculous. It was the right call. And just because, I'm just I listen to other people who know more big words than me, and I repeat what I say. Logically, restarting a trial right, for one juror when the other ten were staying guilty anyway makes no sense. It was already the longest trial in history or something like so. Start again. And then the guys are funny with us here. See, they only start over the trial to fight against the man. Oh, we don't ever think about the angle. Next video, I'm going to be arguably one of my most controversial. It will be a video showing you the entire world and every country unite. And who subscribe to the idea that the British Privy Council should be the final court of appeal? Surely we're going to see countries. Remember, the British had a colony all over the world Africa, Asia, North America. Remember, I said the British literally colonized America itself. Surely we're going to find a bunch of countries who still hold on to them. Right? We're going to look at the Corruption scheme because you know they said Jamaica more corrupt than the UK, so I better them do it. So I go see countries and right, who corrupt and see which part of them final court. I go talk about the fact that Iron Man, entire machine from Jamaican children are born to are engineered and bred to be nothing but house neighbors. This is why Jamaica don't produce a lot of patriots. I mean, it's going to offend. They go kick it off with a with a Malcolm X speech. So you already know the feelings are going to hurt you know. If you hear about that, if you know that speech are going to kick off, right? If you know that any excerpt from Malcolm X must, kick, must hurt smelly feelings, you know. So, I want to know if I'm now. You would have seen Dennis Meadows and you know, Warmington, right? Warred, get the political boot. In one way, shape or form. Well, there's people say resign, people say sucked. It's neither here nor there and gone from the post. Meadows get removed as you know, gonna be the candidate for this and then and take with the political tribalist is trying to disguise this as proof that we now have you know the current crop of leaders are so woke and accountable and it's not accountable i'll tell you a difference between umbra and market joe right and the politicians them who came before them two word social media way back in the day your favorite leaders your idols your gods because you have many gods and all of them are flesh and blood right or material things right. your gods right who don't worship so much could do whole heap of things, literally lead the funeral procession of some of the most notorious criminals in the country and give eulogies at them for and this and that and all them things that could happen back in the day. Walk into the community, stand up there, reason with the dan, right, hand over, go and go back. This was normal, you know why? Because camera and phone never debout and social media never debout. Nowadays we have social media. What happened to Dennis Meadows and Warmington happened to them because they got caught on camera. And social media can send things on in a second. 
Way back, can you imagine how much things people did catch punk while look at Peter Yass and send go gay? The mainstream media and them not put it out. Can you imagine how much time people link the mainstream and say, yo, you know, so this are going on. So, well, we can't say that because it's defamatory. So, the big wig, don't come out right. Who do they fear? Social media. They hate social media and they hate the vlogger more than anything else. But tell them to say, we're not going to see. Right. Them focus more upon bringing in laws to stop social media than bringing in laws to stop gangs. Because gangs and 87s and the 90s and the 116s, right, that tie into their machine. But the quote unquote rogue vlogger, rogue. Somebody link me there. So look at you, me and somebody. Me and somebody on the radio station that talk about rogue vloggers. Who am I talking about? I don't know. Rogue. When they say hombre, when they say Marky Joe come up, but yeah, we had, we got rid of him because now is the time to, now is the time social media exists. If there was none, nothing now come out, I can't nobody know. Dennis Meadows and Warmington fell on the sword of social media. Not the political accountability and the modern times and nothing like that. Like if you're a unicorn. What Warmington said was so ridiculous, even if I joke him, I joke. No one then joke there. This is why I'm warning about politicians who are getting caught up in the clown culture. Poppy show culture. I don't like poppy show leaders. I like my leaders stern. I like my leaders serious because it's a serious business. When I want entertainment, I go dance. When I want entertainment, I go stage show. I go comedy show. I go carib. I go watch play. I go watch Mama Man 1, Mama Man 2. Under my nose. This obsession with leaders being cool and trendy make them look like Poppy Show. It's a viral video drop and this is a blast. Marky Joe. No. <laughs> no. No, sir. Oh. Me. Yeah, yeah, man. Looking uncomfortable. The man looks so uncomfortable, it's unbearable. Marky Joe, that's not you. Trying to fit in, are we? Same thing when Umbre come with him, Radam. Man, cut it out. Yeah, if you do this, it's going to look cool and trendy with, with the youth because the youth and the social media end up looking like a poppy show. Yeah, go like you can't take a little joke. Sit down, bootlicker. We're not ready for you yet. We'll soon deal with you. Political bootlickers. And all them days walk around, you're cool, like you can't, you can't take like a joke. You know what's a joke? You. You're a joke. If you ever talk about joke. You're a joke because when you walk around and talk about it's a joke, it's a joke. Then jokers go in and make joke policies and get joke results. Then you ball. Me say all kind of squabble are going over who win what and who win what and who never win this and who win more seat and who are the loser and who are. You know what I was looking at the turnout? 29%? 29%? Twenty nine percent of the people are more eligible to turn up. I'm not telling them said Ironman people have lost faith in the JLP and the PNP. And they need to turn it around. And doing poppy show thing like this will not turn it around. But only their most loyal supporters, only them tribalists, right? Are straighten up the party them no no. Jamaicans have clearly lost faith in both parties. When 20, you might count and say, well, local elections normally have low turnout. Except, 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 this was no ordinary local election. I've never seen a local election. There's none I can remember where get so much hype and so much attention. I've never seen political parties beat the streets as much as how them do it for this local election at one point i was confused if a general election me have to ask somebody say well on, a general election this or a local election because to the party them that go on me thinks are a general election so this is no ordinary right, local election and it was long awaited so this one build up so after how much years after how much years you would have think that people can't wait for God the polls 
if you go select them councillors and this and that, 29%. The real winner of that election is not the PNP or the JLP, it's the DNA. Did not attend. The Jamaicans who have given up on the process give up because they keep seeing right, politicians that them can't tell the difference between them right, and the local act at the circus. Whenever you see umbrella and market them do certain things like that ridiculous video where you see market you put out, they're doing these things to appease their tribalists who watch them and say, Yeah man, yeah bossy, you're full of vibes, bossy, you're full of vibes. Ooh, you're so cool. The Jamaicans who don't have any actual loyalty to a party are looking like, what kind of poppy show thing this? I don't want to hear about no Radam when Jamaica is consistently pushing out 1,300, 1,400 murders every year and consistently in top 5 murder rate every single year. I don't want to see no politician doing some weak ass TikTok challenge, strutting their dance moves, looking uncomfortable as hell. Marky Joe ain't got a. Marky Joe. Right. I get it, out of many one people and all that, but let's be honest here, bro, you ain't got no rhythm. Right? You ain't bit like that. Right? That, that rhythm thing there, it ain't not here, bro. All I want to focus on the 29%. We now focus on the most loyal. We now realize that 70% of Jamaicans think so now clone and not even worth turning up to the 70%. You know? How can I be the leader of anything and celebrate only 29% of people turning up to be a part of the process? Well, let me. 29% Them let our people early Them say go home early right. Business place So want to do them business Send home staff early Half day And staff gone home Gone watch Netflix Staff gone home Gone rubber dub right. Staff gone home Mother boss I drive past And him look Him see the staff In a cactus 3 o'clock in the day A dirty wine And a polling station Them for day the amount of effort we get put into this local election, more than 29% of Jamaicans should have turned up. They are not turning up. We tell them that Jamaica is ripe, right, and ready for the picking. Feed a competent third party or one of the main party them, PNP or JLP, to start demonstrating, say, right, them serious about this thing. Huh? Too many court jesters, not enough thinkers, not enough executioners. I'm not talking about money chop up head. And let me just put this out here. The whole men of vote and men of turn up for vote thing is not a flex. Because you choose your leaders whether you choose them or not. Hope you understand that. You help choose the leaders whether you go to polling station or not. If you're saying that the people who do turn up to vote right, are mad people, then when them people pick the political leaders who then go on to make certain policies, you can't complain. Because you say I'm mad people, but you never counter for them vote with your own. Because if you're saying that you're so smart and knowledgeable, then you should use that smartness and knowledgeability itis right, for pick a competent leader. Remember, there are third parties and their independents. So you reject the two main parts of them and you reject the independents and you reject the third parties. They just reject everything. So when everything, when the policies them come out and this and that and you don't like it, just work with it because you did help pick it. But yes, you did make a choice. By not choosing, you make a choice. So I don't vote. It's not a flex. It's not. I understand why enough people are fed up with the, with, with the machine and fed up with the system and fed up with this and that. And I agree that the third part of them and independent them need to do more. I to make themselves more known and make themselves seem like, you know, people can at least have a little confidence in them. But rest assured... Not voting don't hurt nobody except you. This is exactly what the PNP and JLP want. They're most loyal of supporters to turn up. That's it. Then it isn't about you. Whether 29 or 25 percent, whether 1 percent turn up, they're not going up poor. That's all they care about, going up poor. So it's not a flex. I'm just the one put this on there. You're not hurting anybody except yourself. Because if you're saying Simon, I go vote. Then when Simon elects Simon leaders and Simon leaders bring in Simon policies, now you are complain. Just think about it, it's not a flex. Let me see why I'm only frustrated still. I don't want nobody to tell me about no, about no accountability of the leaders and, and, and see them on a different amount of full integrity. Alright, bootlicker. Never you can't just tell you. If they never get catch on camera, nothing will come out of it. Julian Silvera. Political dispute one and him kill the man dog and fling in front of him gate. 
Nothing happened to him. The PNP swept that under the carpet. Right now, let me tell you something about what you are talking about. Because nobody never catch up on camera. Therefore, nobody tried to quote unquote hold him accountable. What happened to Dennis Meadows happened to him because he got caught on camera. The thing them them say is a common viewpoint held amongst many politicians themselves. None of them are scammer too. Dennis Meadows sound like he did under him aisle. One thing with the aisle, it make man start get honest. Ray and him nephew make man get honest. When they see my talk now, say, well, you know, I was just, uh, you know, under a little bit of pressure. No, the aisle make him say we're inside of him. This is why it's when people under them real nephew, that's what, let me tell you some things where them really think about it. Jamaicans love scammers and scamming. It's a scamming society in many ways, shape and form. You must talk about the lottery scamming and the Americans, this scamming going all about. A chopper society. Chop of the youth them want being a chop of the girl them love. A be a forward them get for them speech there. Remember the Jamaican people take the side of whoever is most popular. So the chopper is more popular than the person with them chop. The elderly citizen with them chop, the chopper is more popular. So Jamaican people take for them side and say yo them love chopper and them rate chopper. Then when you seen both get chopped, then because you seen is more popular than the SSL people them, then them take you see inside and say no they're against chopping because it is immoral and people work hard and you shouldn't just take what they want and it's deceit and this is how the Jamaican people operate. Whoever is most popular, that's where I stand. So when they don't like somebody, them say, Your Honor, don't give him bail and the sentence too short, give him hundred more. Right? And if the seat he was convicted, that's him why no more. If the person is popular, then them say, oh, well, I'm in a business if he's convicted. Until white dad in a London, seal it up, I'm in a business, free that man. They say thing there. That's the Jamaican culture. What Dennis Meadows said right, is a commonly held viewpoint by many Jamaicans. Many politicians. This idea said them, they're so devastated. Say, man, a chap and you will say something like this. When them literally have chap in inner them party. We warming can do. I saw my politicians been doing. When they see the JP come out and say, well, we, we're making it known, we're not, we're not in support, and we're totally against. No, they're totally against the facts and get catch, so we'll get rid of them now. That is a liability. Right, but, what you must say? That's going on a long time. In many of the councils and all of the things, things are handed out on a tribal line. You are my. When I see in party, so you get this. You, you yeah, have a hard time getting this. Warmington has been a liability from Wapi Kill Filler, you know. Warmington Mount now have no levels or limits, you know. Umbre could have sucked Warmington a long time. And I asked Umbre one come draw a line for Warmington. When time, him should have been the tree while it young. Should have reigned him in a long time. So no, it's nothing to do with leaders becoming more. It's the fact that we know social media. One of the best and the worst things a man has ever invented. Social media is one of the best and simultaneously one of the worst things man has ever invented. We have to give and take. But what it does allow us to do is see things in a real time. Many of your idols, your gods, who you try to lepit them to them was some kind of deity-like figure who came to save Jamaican from their sins. Right? Not for them were just as highly acidic criminal enablers. But because they are a part of your party, you ignore it. Right? And focus on the two or three little good things them do. Every politician in history have at least three good things to them do in the office. Every politician in history. Every politician in history have at least two or three good things. You can literally find good things that the, the Nazi them accomplish when they're in the power. So you see how tribalism works. All you have to do is ignore all of the foolishness and just focus on the couple of good things. Then I said, remember, sir, this? you can literally make an argument that Hitler them did do this and do this. So you don't talk about that. Right? And just ignore all the other rest. That's how politics work. Every politician in history do something good. They pulled off a couple good things. What their tribal is to is ignore the massive failures and the destruction and then say, you're going to talk about this. 
Warm to Warmington and Meadows now not to eat Umbra and Marky Joe being the exceptional leaders of no accountability and this and that. What happened to them was social media scalped them. This is why they must rein it in. But tell them to say, well, I'm going to say laws, I say, oh, if you share certain videos, it's illegal. The people who write anti gang and make it so soft, I'm going to write some anti social media law them. We're hard. Hard. And people, you both some of them laws and start smiling at them and say, yeah, man, them laws that will get out of the look of YouTube and now, you know. Enough symptoms that will see laws draft up and say, yeah, man. At this me one long time forget with that look at YouTuber boy, you know. Remember I say see him knife stick the unicorn. Stick the goat. Remember them say sharing certain videos. Uh, traumatize people when most time people are sharing videos and friend them are share too. How them are gonna enforce this law? They are going and check individual phones and check how them are do it. They must go create some kind of extraordinary means and to watch people if you can enforce this law. Meadows Good riddance. Warmington. Good riddance. Anyway, remember tomorrow, two video drop. First one, I'm gonna be like a right job. Second one, I'm gonna be check left hook. Off you take a knee. Right. Anyway, bitch and squad, big up in the cell. PIA, don't know, more life. Ultra squad, see you circling. Bless.